What's up my fellow small business supporters? I'm Savvy and today I'm here with five tips for doing school visits as an author. If you guys are new to my AuthorTube and BookTube channel, please remember to click the subscribe button because every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday I have new videos coming out about books, writing, dogs, toys, art, and business, but mostly books and writing so you won't want to miss those. Now as a lot of you guys may know, I am a children's book author as well as a young adult and new adult novelist, but so far what I've been most known for in terms of my writing and the books that I've written that have sold the best have been my children's books which are from a series called The Forever Home Friends. My Forever Home Friends series features different stories based on real rescue dogs. We also have a series of stuffed animals that goes with each book and we donate part of our profits to Chicago animal shelters. For me, a big part of these books is the educational value that it has for kids. The idea that there's discussion questions in the back of each book and kids can be learning something new from reading these. And we can talk about the issues that the dog faces, whether that's living as a stray for a little while, or it's having scars on your face from your past, or it's being a mixed breed and not quite knowing where you fit in. We can look at those themes and say, okay, how can we help animals who are going through an issue like this? And how might a similar topic also apply to people, also apply to the things we see in the world with each other on maybe even a larger scale? So it's definitely a way to get kids thinking about those type of issues, which is why it works really well in an educational environment. That is why I have found doing school visits as an author to be a great way to spread these books message, to help educate kids, and to also build my own author platform. So I wanted to give you guys some tips of things that I've learned from my time doing school visits as an author over the past year and a half or so. My first tip for doing school visits as an author is to start searching for schools, starting with ones that you already have some type of contact with. So for me, I used to work as a middle school debate coach. So working in that community, I got to meet other teachers from other schools who were competing against us. I got to network with them, talk to them about the fact that I was an author, talk about potentially arranging a school visit, that type of thing. Also, as authors, we often know a lot of people who are English teachers or that type of thing. So start with finding your friends who might be teachers or colleagues of yours who might be teachers or no teachers and see if you can use those personal connections to get in contact with someone at that school and say, hey, are you guys looking for any authors to come in and do a school visit? My second tip is to reach out to nearby schools before you start traveling. If you're new to doing school visits, you probably won't want to invest a ton of money in traveling a great distance right away from the beginning. So usually it's best to see what schools are in your neighborhood, what schools are in your city or your town. For me, that means looking at all the schools in Chicago, and Chicago is a big city, there are a ton of schools here. So I look at all the different schools in Chicago, I sometimes look at schools in Indiana or Wisconsin, places that are not too far from Chicago and are an easy distance to get to, and I will reach out to those schools, talk to people I know from there. My third tip for doing school visits as an author, this is still in the realm of organizing the school visit itself, is to search for different events that are going on with schools. Schools will often put on on book fairs or family literacy nights or things like that. One of my best school visits that I ever did was at a family reading night that was taking place at an elementary school. They were looking for an author to come into the school and give a presentation and on one of the writer listservs that I was a part of for Chicago, I got an email saying, hey, this school's looking for an author to come in for their family reading night to give a presentation. And I said, yes, I am interested, send me the details. And that ended up being one of the best school visits that I did because I got to go up on the stage at the assembly, give the students a whole presentation about the Forever Home Friends, and I got a couple of die-hard fans from that, which was awesome. So definitely look into book-related events that are going on at schools and see if there's a way for you as an author to take part in that. Moving on to executing the school visit itself, tip number four is to come prepared with both a presentation that you're going to give and selections from your book that you can read. 
A lot of schools enjoy, especially for younger kids, having an author come in and do a story time with the kids, read the book to the kids, and then let the kids ask the author questions about the book. That can be super, super fun. So come prepared with a selection that you're going to read if it's from a novel, if it's from like a picture book, you can just read the whole thing, obviously. But prepare that and practice that ahead of time. And then also try to have a presentation ready. When I am doing school visits, I will usually ask the school ahead of time, like, what is your... AV setup look like? Do you have a projector that I can get on through Google Drive? That kind of thing. And if so, then I usually pull up a slideshow that I have in the background where I show the kids pictures of the real dogs. I show them pictures of things like that. I have sometimes for older kids, I'll have little bullet points about the writing process. Like for middle schoolers, I'll be like, here are some things to keep in mind when writing. Here's some writing tips for you. Here's kind of how the book process works. But for younger kids, it's more like, here's some pictures of cute dogs. Look how adorable they are. If the school doesn't have a projector available, come prepared with some talking points of things that you can present to the kids. Generally about like what inspired you to create this book, where the story comes from, what the impact you hope it will have is, all of that good stuff. You guys know what your books are about then do a reading, but try to make sure you have a good flow prepared ahead of time. Tip number five, the most important tip in my personal opinion, because to me it almost goes without saying, but a lot of times this can actually get overlooked pretty easily, and that is do not, under any circumstances, do this for free. Your time as an author is valuable. The fact that you're traveling, going into a school, and presenting to students, and helping them learn, and doing a reading, and giving them some form of enrichment in that sense, that's worth something. I mean, I'm sure most of us have stories about when we were a kid, if an author or somebody came to our school to do an assembly or do a visit, that had an impact on a lot of us. I remember having authors come to visit my school as a kid and being so inspired by what they were doing and finding it so exciting and it just built my love for books even more. And we can do that for kids. We can have that impact on them. And that's worth something. Too often there will be authors who say, yeah, I mean, the joy of it is enough payment for that. Or the exposure I get is enough payment for that. No. The reason I say no is that not only is it hurting you by not getting you the payment for your time and your effort, but it's also hurting other authors because you're driving down the market value. If schools are hearing that some authors will do it for free, then they're not gonna expect to have to pay anyone. And then all of us will go down in value and that's not good. We're seeing a huge epidemic of this problem, especially with online journalism and things like that, where there are some writers who are willing to write for free for publications, so now publications just make all of their writing positions unpaid and next thing you know, writers everywhere are struggling to get paid for their valuable work. That's a thing. It's a big thing and it's a big problem. So no, do not work for free. Now, when I say don't work for free, that doesn't mean only look at wealthy schools or schools with big budgets. There are a lot of low income schools out there with kids who might really, really need to hear your message. So what I like to do with my school visits is I say that my price is negotiable or I'm willing to do a payment plan or anything like that. I have my standard rates listed on my website saying, hey, for a school visit presentation of two hours or under within the Chicago area, I will do a school visit for $95. If you want a full day school visit where I reach out to multiple classes and do multiple presentations to different groups of students, that is $200. If I have to go outside of Chicago or outside of a reasonable distance around Chicago, I'm going to increase the price to cover travel costs. But I always have a little asterisk that says, if your school is on a tight budget and you cannot afford these fees, let me know and we will find a way to work something out. We will negotiate, we will make it work. But I do not say, I'm gonna offer this for free because then everyone's gonna want it for free and then everyone's gonna want every author to do things for free and let's be real, authors are already ridiculously underpaid. So those are my five tips for doing school visits as an author. What did you guys think of these tips? Have you guys ever done a school visit as an author or do you remember a time when an author came to visit your school when you were a kid and what did you think about it? Please let me know in the comments below because I love doing school visits. I have some more great ones coming up next week and I am just so, so excited to keep on doing those. 
yeah, I have school visits in the summer. I don't know how I managed to get that, but there are some schools with summer enrichment programs that are like, let's bring an author in. That's awesome. So I am just super excited for all of that. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're interested in my book series, The Forever Home Friends that I talked about today, please take a look in the description below. We have children's books and stuffed animals based on real rescue dogs. And as always, 10% of our profits benefit animal shelters in Chicago. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you again soon. And in the meantime, don't forget to support small businesses. Happy reading!